You'll probably have 20 armed officers around that corner in a minute. Why? It's an absolute no-no zone anywhere near grid. Right. <laughs> he told me a different story. That's what he's told me. Right. The sort of pylon lines and everything like that. Not you need to you need to as a drone pilot you need to know that you need to ensure a safe flight, don't you? Yeah, of course. So could you do do you think you could safe ensure a safe flight? Welcome back to another video everybody. Today we're in Melksham in Wiltshire. Uh, National Grid substation. Now you may ask why we're here. Uh, yes, they're very interesting sites. However, today there is a 131, I think, 134 tonne reactor being delivered by road from Bristol Docks, Avonmouth. Well, Avonmouth Dock here. Now, the route that this thing is coming is over that humpback bridge there and then into there. So presumably it's going to reverse in because there's no way it's going to be getting around this corner. The route's been carefully planned apparently um, for obviously things like that, tight corners, weak bridges, So guys, there are signs up. I don't know how I missed them. Seven and a half ton. So it isn't going that way. We're back, everybody. I've just driven up the other way up the lane. There is no bridge up there, but the lane is very uh, up and down hilly. So again, I can't see it driving along there either, but it has to go one way. I've checked another internet site and they're all saying it's coming the other way where we showed you before. But with that weight limit on the bridge, uh, that's basically not gonna happen, is it? it? It can't, quite frankly. So it will be coming the other way, it seems. So what we're doing now, we're just walking along the lane, National Grid Lane. Just to have a look at what we've got to see. Um, so this big lorry will be coming around here. Look at that. Danger of 400,000 volts. Damn. So we've made it to the substation. As expected. Uh, it's all security barriered off. We're going to have a quick little look here. Possibly get the drone up now while we're here but look at that corner for the lorry to come round it's tight I'm very conscious I don't want to miss it uh, and as we don't quite know which way it's coming I want to be out on that country lane at least there's also a crane down there obviously waiting to deload this Thing. I'm just hoping I haven't missed it. Possibly it's going on there for it then to be transported to exactly where it's going, perhaps. Got a crane there. And that's ready to go. Look at the feet out on that. Well, it's definitely a time to have a drone, isn't it? I'd be gutted now if I wouldn't be able to get the drone up down there. Maybe ask these if they ask what we're doing. Yep. Hi mate. How long is it away? What's that bad? We haven't heard too much yet. No? No. Okay. We haven't, uh, we haven't seen anything. 
You know the route, the route apparently is bringing it over the bridge, it can't be. No, so the route's coming through the back of the shore, isn't it? Yeah, not over the bridge. So I thought so. Uh, it's meant to be by two o'clock, but I don't know if it's early. Yeah, what, what you did, interesting. Just doing a video on it, yeah. Uh, it's, definitely, it's definitely not early, so yeah. I think it's sometime after two. After two, yeah. No idea where it is now? No, no. 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 Alright. No cool, good, thanks guys. Hmm. It's definitely not early, they say. Let's walk back out to the main road, shall we? Uh, we could even get the drone over now. Take a really quick look now. And then we can show the area of the, uh, the layout of the place now. Go and check out what the crane's doing. And then obviously when it, it, it arrives, we'll get the drone back up again, I think. Going over. I can't let you fly over that. Why? Because it's in the truck. I'm asking the sign boats, there's no drones over. Yeah, let me just check on the. Uh... I can't, obviously, on the lane. I'm going to check. I can't stop. Check, on, check on here. Yeah, that's fine. Because they do have a instant response. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Legally, it's okay. Yeah. Um, like, like I said, I can't, off National Grid property, I can't stop you flying yeah. the drone. Yeah. Well, I can't come on. No, no, I know. But obviously, I'll be flying it from out here, that's and that's it will be going over there. Ideally I'm not. I'm going to stay higher than usual, because of your, obviously, uh, interference and stuff. I, I'll have to check it, because I obviously, like I say, it's signposted yeah. because of the infrastructure. It, in all fairness, mate, me. wherever it's dropping it off, yeah. I can probably hover yeah. to the left of your fence there. That's what I mean. I've got, I've got no issue if you're over the field side and you want to do it that side. I don't need to be above. I need, I need essentially like a an angle view over. Yeah. yeah. So, do you know where exactly it's it's going to be dropped? So it will be pretty much in the centre of this road. Yeah. So, so probably I'll be time. probably I'll be over there, mate. As long as you're not yeah. over the substation. Yeah. Obviously, if we do see it, we will come out. So. The thing is, on the app it shows you where legally you can fly. So yeah. technically, I, I, I can go over, but I'm, I'm being straight with you. Yeah. I, I want to have a view of what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Being directly above is not yeah. going to help me. No, I, I, I know that. So but I'll go over, sort of. That, that side, yeah. I'll yeah. probably go up there. Yeah. Probably over that pylon area. Yeah. yeah. Over there, and then I'll yeah. I'll be actually straight down. I, I double check. Like I said, I can't. I know I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I know that equally there a bit. That's fine, mate. If, if I was here to make a video just on the station today, not on the delivery, <laughs> I'd be being a bit more like, yeah. I'm going to go over. <laughs> but I want to get a view of what's going on. And yeah. as I say, if I'm directly above the, the lorry, that's not what I want today. I want to get a view okay. of obviously what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So everything is happening that side anyway. So we over be there. That way. So yeah. Right. So, yeah, you better that. And that that crane down there, that that's ready to go. He's ready. Yeah, he's ready to lift it when it comes. But like Ooh. we said, we haven't heard any delivery time. Mm. Have you, is it left on time? Do you know? It, as far as we were, at, left on time. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's on route. It's not that far, is it? Really? No. They they have to do a stopover. Obviously, please stop over. Do they? Because of the nature of it. Yeah. Do you know how fast they're going? It can't be fast, can it? And it's a central lane, probably. So. Is it? Yeah, it's not the best. And what, what you film it is it for your use? I do YouTube channel oh, stuff. Nice. Yeah, so. YouTube channel, yeah. Uh, DJ Media. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I watch a bit of DJ. Do you? Yeah. Oh, DJ Audits. DJ Audits. Yeah, man. <laughs> so we film interesting stuff, and obviously I saw this on pop up my phone in the news. I, like, like I said, so. I, I can't I can stop you flying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But ideally, as long as it's away from the actual substation the infrastructure. Um, I'll check what our rules are with it, but yeah, I hope it is. That's nothing I can hear coming up there, is it? No, train. Um, I'm not here to inconvenience you guys no, today. No, I, I know that, I know I, that. I do make videos like yeah. to prove a point sometimes, right? I go over the, directly over, but I've, not today. I've, I've watched enough of them. Have you? I'm argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, not today, I'm going to be... Like, like I say, respectfully, if we can try and keep you yeah. out as much as we can. That's fine, mate. Can, yeah. Lot, yeah. Yeah, cool, man. All right, mate. Cheers. <coughs> yeah, it's only a baby, look.
easily around there. Any idea on time yet, mate? Any idea on the time yet? Oh, round about half two. Half two? Yeah, round about half two. Is it? Quite late? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, she said, she said off half past nine. Do you know where it is now? Somewhere on the M4 or the M5. Is it? Yeah. So we left off at half, half nine, still here half two. I mean, it's, it's 20 to one now, so. Yeah, it's imminent then, yeah, yeah. It's got to be fairly close, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, I, I couldn't tell you exactly where it is. But there's a bridge there, so on the map on the Google it's saying it's that way, but it can't be coming that way. I'm not sure which route it's taking. There's a seven ton bridge that side. Yeah. Uh, it can't be that way, can it? Well, I wonder if it's <laughs> that way. I don't she is now. 131 ton, it says. Is that what it is? Yeah. 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 I'm only the site manager, I don't know oh, where yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be interesting. Yeah, it will be, won't it? Yeah, yeah man. Cheers, mate. See you every day. Well, you know what? Every day. Yeah. It's a treat for you. Yeah, it is one. <laughs> See ya. Right. So we said half two. Got a little bit of time yet then to kill. All right, guys, up we go. What are we looking like from above? Wow, look at that. All that power. Look at the pylons going off to the uh, countryside there. Now that side looks fairly empty. But it is literally in the middle of nowhere, look. Got the railway line there. Single line that is as well. Quite unusual, but we are in the countryside, so... Now, we did tell him we're not going to go over the power station when it arrives, but the thing is where the crane is we're gonna to have to we are gonna to have to go over we've got a got a trailer there waiting presumably waiting to transport it around any little corners I've got there possibly there's the crane look waiting I'm surprised they've only got one crane. 130 ton is quite a weight for one crane. But yeah, look at this place. It's amazing. So let's find a location to view the unloading from. Yeah, there it is, look, Ali's heavy haulage. Look at all that power there. Damn. They've got a little lorry there, look, carrying another little lorry. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's what the lorry that just left was for was carrying that one, or part of it. All right, guys, we're not gonna hang around. We're gonna get back home now. We're gonna fly back to me. Yeah. Oh, well, he's just down now. Is he? How far away? Okay. There we go. And the police car there.
There you go, guys. Let's keep going. I'll watch you go around this corner at the end. <laughs> So have to run all the way up here. <laughs> right in the corner. And we're in. Take off. Home point updated. Okay. Just so you're aware, you might not want to do that. Why? You'll probably have 20 armed officers around that corner in a minute. Why? It's an absolute no-no zone anywhere near grid. It's all right on the app, it's fine. Hey? I've got an app which tells you where you can legally fly. No, so it's, it's, it's a yellow warning area, so you've got to be careful. Well, they will be down here. Will they? <laughs> right, guys. Let's have a little look, shall we? There he goes. The beast. So, we're going to wait and see. Watch it go in. Looks like they're waiting for something at the minute. Surprised I didn't get more out of breath running along there. The back on the back. <laughs> so guys, look at these tyres. Four lots of tyres all the way along. Eight tyres in total. <clears throat> We've got the drone up at the moment. As you can see the screen. We're just waiting for the uh, clearance, I think, to go in. every one of these wheel steers as you can see the hydraulic over there for the steering lots and lots of chains Royal Smith dedicated partner yeah look at those tires And every one of them looks under a lot of weight. Very, very cool stuff. So it's actually a reactor, electronic reactor, they say. And there's the cab. With the attachment. 
Ali needs heavy haulage. Looks like the gate's being undone. But there it is, look. Showing the pressure to different uh, tyres, maybe. We're going to be giving the go-ahead now. Am I alright? It, it, it will be going over down there. One second, mate. I'll talk to you in a sec. There he goes. What's up, please? Sorry, mate. As long as you keep the drone over the field, don't fly over the fence line. I was thinking it would be okay, but... No, it's a no drone zone. There's a sign there saying, if you fly it over the south, I've got to report you to the police. You can do that if you need to. Um, well, I'm just telling you, there's a sign that says no drone zone, and if you fly it over the sub, I've, I've got an app which tells me where you can legally fly. You can't, well, I understand you can't fly yeah. over the fence line, that's the only thing. By law, it's okay, but it's a yellow zone, so it, you've got to be careful, basically. So I'm not going to go over that way, because you've got all your power over there. I'm probably going to stay from, in line with this fence. Yeah, if you stay that side but, of the fence, that's Obviously, if that goes further down, I think your crane's further down, isn't it? I'll do my best, my friend. Um, but I've been over already before I arrived to check. Right. And I think it's that far left side where I need to be. I'm not sure what you've got down there. Um, if you want, I can show you on here. I can show you where I want to go. And then, um, let's have a look. It arrived early, didn't it? Yeah. Lots going on down there. Lots going on. Let's go and have a look. There it is, look. Beast. Yeah, so, uh, as I say, we were going to stay. over this field here the problem is it's probably going to be unloaded over there so unfortunately we are going to need to go over the station but I've checked on drone assist uh, drone assist is a yellow area so it says their offenders liable for prosecution but I'm not sure how they can enforce that to be fair I'm sure a DJ audits or somebody uh, with knowledge on it will be able to comment and let me know, but drone zone on the app, it's allowed. Otherwise I wouldn't be where I am now, right? Yeah. This is gonna be really cool. What a beast. And we're down by the gate there, look. So this is exactly the kind of thing that the drone is made for. Is he coming to have a chat? 
Don't think so. Looks like they're connecting something. No doubt the police probably will end up driving up here to have a word shortly. Who was he? Was it you I spoke to before? I spoke to you already. Yeah, it's okay over there. It's fine, mate. Was it you I spoke to before? I spoke to you already. Yeah, it's okay over there. Because when you take it off the lorry, it's going to be further down, isn't it? Let's get high enough so they can't hear it at least. Not a good day to get arrested today. I'm going on holiday at seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, got an alley's cab coming around the corner. Yep. And they've obviously informed me to bring the police. Yep. Um, I know the outcome of it. And that's I've checked on the legalities, it's fine. Yeah, so there's, it's to do with a, an aerospace exclusion zone. I don't know enough about it. No, so I can show you on the app if you want me to. Um, it, it, it's a warning zone, meaning you have to take care yeah. and be aware of what's here. Yeah. And obviously you've got electricity, you've got uh, signals going up and down, yeah. interference maybe, yeah. um, and the obvious physical yeah. of it, so you need to stay quite high. But yeah. Like, like you say, I prefer for the meantime outside the fence. I didn't realise that that crane is a lot further down than I thought. Yeah. So to view it from the side, I have to go over your station, but obviously on the left-hand side, yeah. which I don't think you have a lot over there. I, yeah, I am, it's still the principle of this enclosure the substation. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's not, like I say, I'm not I'm trying not to be difficult. No, that's all right, mate. Um, um, but like I said, our security has told us I've got to get a reference number for the police. Um, look, here. So that's where we are now. Yeah. there in fact this yeah there we go yeah, yeah, so yeah. the yellow is train lines yeah, yeah, and obviously and there exactly. have a click on it hazard area has it got any exclusion around it or is it just literally an exclusion zone it's just the yellow see there that, that's an exclusion yeah yeah that's, that's right. red that's right so if i click on that it wouldn't let me fly there yeah it's uh no, that's, that's i'm not right. sure what that is actually but usually in red you can't fly in there most of them yeah, yeah. yellow you can but uh as i say all train lines are yellow normally, yeah, yeah, obviously, meaning obviously be yeah. careful. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's the same for you, and the, and the pylons. So it's yeah. the same as the pylons, to obviously be aware they're there yeah, yeah. and don't go near them because obviously they're dangerous, yeah. you know. Yeah, no. um, like I say, I've, I've just got to follow what security said. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate That's all right. And like I say, if, if you can be amenable, try and keep high as much as you can. But I, I appreciate mean, you're at height. If I show you where I am now, yeah. I'm outside at the minute. Yeah, yeah. But obviously when you go down there, yeah, then it's... I'm going to want to go alongside that crane and it's quite far down. Yeah, no, I am. So I'm probably going to go there and up a bit higher. Right. Not sure what that is. Well, what is it there you've got? Nothing really it, there, is it? It's an old substation. Oh, it's old? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so the safest good. place to be, if anything. Well, safest place. <laughs> no, that, that's fine. Like I said, I'll, <coughs> you know, I'll, I'll ring up. I've got to get a reference number for security. Um, but yeah, as from what happens there, I don't know. Do you think the police will turn up? I mean... Probably not, but... They were just down the road. You could have asked them to come up um are you guys unloading now or i don't know what they're planning mate you're the manager I know. <laughs> you're the site manager yeah, you're a spectator. i know my eyes are up there at the moment <laughs> do you think it'll be soon before dark presumably i don't know what they're planning right oh, it over them. They're, they're the specialists. oh is it down to the uh alleles it's down to the specialists. right do you need to be back in? Yeah, 
couple of episodes. Though. I've, got, I've got it. I wasn't sure whether flag didn't yeah. throw it off. But, uh, <laughs> So is that replacing a faulty one or is it is it a new thing for you guys, the delivery? No, it's replacing a faulty one. Oh, okay. Has the old one already gone? No, the, old, the, old, the old one gets cut down. Cut down. Cool, man. That's it. The battery's low, I've got to bring it back now. <laughs> it's interesting though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Right, see, you later, see you, mate. Bye. Need you back to the... Why? That's not moving anywhere until sometime for afternoon, so we've got to set up the rigging to get done first. So, oh, for right. the rest of the afternoon, it's going to be lorry shunting the boat and then um, getting prepped. Ah. Telling me it's not happening today. Do I believe him? No. No, I don't. Here or down there? Where, yeah. So come off down here. I'll stick it on that little you know, one two, and then I'll take it around to it. Ah. <coughs> Prepping. Prepping time. Okay. You can't you can't just pick them up and lift and shift them. No, but you know, you you think they'd have um planning, like they'd have planned it in advance? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because the crane was down there, set out ready to go. It was, but now they want to, they want to shunt and move some bits of boat, and of course that's that in the middle of the, the middle of the road, it's a bit tricky. Ah. Cool, man. Cheers, mate. Police have arrived. <coughs> you alright? Right, mate, I recognise you. What's that? I recognise you from somewhere. I don't know. Have I met you before? No, now. No. I don't know. Probably. There's a station down... Swindon? No. Further than there. Oh, fair. I may have seen you at Swindon. I did a video there a long time ago. Uh, fair enough. Just to identify myself, I'm PC Davis. I'm from the Roads Police Community here in Wilkes Fleet. To inform you, I am recording. Oh, well done, man. You know the score then. That I've been able <laughs> to tell you. Um, drone, obviously, you've got drone. Yes, the drone's now. right there. Um, well... It ran out of battery, so I landed it. Right. Um, I'm waiting for that to be unloaded. If it is, un if it is being unloaded, yeah. it's going back up. If it's not, I'm going. All right. I'm just going to double check the legislation. I don't know off the top of my head because it's drone legislation. Can okay. we show you something? As you can tell, yeah. I'm the roads police officer. Are you? I can deal with e roads. traffic. I can deal with roads. I can deal with cars. But so this is drone assist. This shows where legally we can fly, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a red area. Yeah, yeah. So that's usually a no-no. I click I'm, on it. I, I can understand why that's a no-no. Restricted, -no. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, here where we are as railway lines as well it's yellow which right. essentially means it, it's, a, it's a hazard so right. we need to be aware of what it is okay obviously the pylons are the same yeah yeah, yeah i got that so we need to be aware of what they are not go close to them keep extra mm. high possibly that kind of thing i think i think um, the um the concern they've guys these guys have got which i don't know they're showing them i'll be our oh, hands up that. i've got another colleague who knows a bit more you? about this yeah you're gone i i just came side just because i was nearest here all oh, right okay yeah fair enough mate uh in the case of I'll wait for my colleague to get here. Um, oh, there's another unit coming, is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there? Yeah, because well, originally, as far as we were away, it was still flying. I just, I was like, all right, I'm nearby. I'll go along. I, I was hovering and nothing's happening yet. All right. The battery was going lower and lower, so I thought, let's land it. Swap the battery over. No worries. Wait for that to go back. They're meant to be unloading it, but whether they are now, it might be tomorrow now. Um, Am I allowed to have your details? No. No, that's fine. Don't give details. No, that's fine. I can't force you to give details. That's all right, mate. That's um, what it is. Yeah, so legislation-wise, if prisons, pretty much prisons, airports. Yeah, restricted areas. Yeah, yeah. they are areas that you okay, you no can worries. get done for doing it over there. Yeah, um, no worries. But it won't let you fly over there. Anyway, it won't let you. It will come up on here and say, you can't Stop. do it. Yeah. So pretty much the app. Um, let you do what you can legally kind of thing, oh, usually, yeah. We do a bit of research, but if you don't Come mind on. keeping it on the ground for a minute or two. 
That would be very appreciated. I don't plan on going anyway with it yet, so. That's fine. If that does miraculously start unloading, it will go up. Um, All right, have a list. I'll hope and pray it doesn't go up. The plan was, by the way, yeah. um, there's a field here. So I said, originally I said to the guy that came out, I said, I'll, I'll stay over the field and I'll, I'll, I can see from there. Mm. But they're, in, well, they were going to unload it right further down. Right. And their site goes along and then drops back right. over there. So I said to them, it's decommissioned over, it's not being used. But that's where I was going to be, over there. Right, you're going to be to, in the field over there to, to see, shh, it's not field. Got you. I can't okay. show you. Um, I can show on the map. That's right. It's um, <coughs> basically, if I turn around, yeah, their site goes along there yeah. and then it goes over there. Right. I thought if they're unloading it here, yeah. I can hover in the grass. No issues, they were happy with that. Okay. But if they're unloading it right down the corn far end, All right. I will need to be technically over their fence to do it. Which is when of course they saw it and they go, Oh, we need to call the police. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's All that's right. what happened. Your, so is your plan to ho 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 hover it over that way? If they're gonna unload it there, yeah. yeah. So, alright. If. If if the lorry goes further down, which is what the plan was originally they said, right. it will be over their site. Technically, not over their pylons. It won't be over the important stuff, okay. um, which is allowed, I think. But oh, well, this, it's, is, this um, is where I need to, need to have a look. Yeah, it's I'm better that you check, I'm, isn't it? At the end of the day, I'm no superhuman. Yeah. If you can recite to me every single law in the land, I'll give you a medal. <laughs> it's no one can. So if they say they can, they're lying. All right. So give me a minute to have That's a look. Fair at enough, mate. To be honest about it, a lot, of, a lot of policemen talk and act like they kind of know everything, and, and a lot of them, no one knows everything, right? So. I mean, and that's true. I mean, a lot of people act like that. I can guarantee you that not every cop knows every law. They can't, they, can they? No. If you, you've got to be an absolute madman to know it. Unless you've been doing it like 30, 40 years and you've been and, heavily involved. And to be fair, if you ask me about road, le road, road legislation, I'll probably give you a lot of it. I've got a question for you then. Oh, God, here we go. Port of Bristol. Huh? Port of Bristol. Port of Bristol, It's yeah. private, isn't it? I don't know, because I don't live in Bristol, do I? I don't know. <laughs> so, I'm a Wiltshire officer. As you drive into the port, yeah. it says private property, port, yeah. whatever, land. Yeah. And from there on, it's port police. And they're privately paid for, but they have all the powers that you have. It depends on if the public have access. You've got to remember that as well. So it's a bit like... Um, you do? A, a, bit of, a good example would be... Um, if, you did a, if you had a, um, a supermarket, right? majority of it's a car park. Oh, well, actually, no. Better example. Better example. A motorway service station. Right. right? There's a. a you deal with those a lot, I presume. Yeah. yeah. I do. <laughs> so the roads, effectively, majority of it's a car park. Some road law doesn't count in those car parks, but right. it does count the road as it goes through. Okay. That that's, that's interesting. Because that's a road. The rest of it's a car park. See, I've got a bit of that there. So. While you're waiting, I'll just tell you, right? I was in the Port of Bristol doing a video. Oh, right. Port, port Police came, can't do it, blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming you need to leave. Have yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, that isn't my office. So I, I left, yeah. um, and I got a camera in my car. Yeah. It's like, it clips to the roof, and essentially it faces out, or it can swivel, and it can do a selfie. Oh, yeah. So on my video, it shows me driving out the port. Right. I was like, all right, guys, we're going we're gonna to leave now. The police have just told us to leave, right? Got a letter in the post. Yeah. Saying they're they're uh, intending to prosecute for a mobile phone. There's no mobile phone. It's a camera, right? Wow. Ah. So, so is it when you say it's camera? Is it camera in the phone? No. It, it, right. it can't retrieve. Because the, the law states it has to be able to retrieve data, right? Data now, yeah. Because it used to be tele telecomatic. So in the sense of it used to be a telephone. But then the age no. of the age of modern day phones have all changed, haven't they? It's literally just like that. It's just a camera. Nothing else. You could look at uh, not being in proper control. That's another one. Right. Because if you're not, in, if you I didn't touch it. Because you could look at that even if you have a sandwich. Oh yeah. Hello, mate. Right. Yeah, good. I'm. Is that the shunt thing that's supposed to be arriving? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm late then. <laughs> yeah, it's already here. What are you here for, mate? Oh, I'm from the local newspaper. Um, oh, are you? Oh, I beat you to it. We're going to do it with one of them. I've got the drone over and everything. Did you get the footage? Yeah. Well, send it to us. Not really. And we can not the video or whatever, just like a still. Somebody give you a still. Yeah. Well, to, not now, but I can send you a still. Yeah, you send me a still, and obviously we'll credit where credit is due, type thing. That's fine, mate. I've got a YouTube channel, so just credit the YouTube channel. Right down the. Have you got a pen and paper? Yeah. Oh, God. We'll put it. In... They're giving you hassle. <laughs> what it is that they haven't unloaded it yet? Uh, they're going so to. I've got down. the drone back, but when they're going to unload it with the crane, I was going to get the drone back up. Uh, yeah. These guys have said you can't, and I've said, well, I can. 
Yeah, you should be all right out here. This is public land, isn't it? Yeah, you can actually fly over it. Legally, you can, but they don't like it. It, it does, because there's a sign, but in terms of the law, it, the cop is checking the law now, but um, oh, we've got an undercover. Um, have you got a pen and paper, mate, or do you want me to pop it in a text? Uh, pop it in a text, if I type it into you, no problem. Put it... Put it in there. Yeah, sure. We've got an undercover car pulled up. Do you want to come down here, mate? Yeah. I'm just doing a video, so I don't, I don't want to miss uh, the police interaction here, you know. <clears throat> so what media are you from, mate? Um, Wiltshire News. Publications? Wiltshire News, Wiltshire Publications. Oh, nice. Cool. It's a nice car. How are you? Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'll quickly have a chat with staff a second. I'm fine, yeah. Why are you broke? Is it your car? This is my car, isn't it? No. <laughs> That's what you guys say when you pull us over. Is it your car? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good, mate, yeah. Oh, so, cheers. You know why we've been called, don't you? What? Because we've been flying there. So it's your email, right? Yeah. I'll right. do it later. Yeah, that's my email, yeah. I'm nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, see you. I'll drop you an email later. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you know why you've been called and everything because we've been flying a drone over. Yeah. They so, said they had to call the police, I mean. So as far as, like, and I will be, we'll be completely honest with you. You're tall, aren't you, mate? I am. Damn, how tall are you? I, I appreciate you. Turn the camera up. I, I appreciate you trying to film me, so I get what you're trying to say. Um, <laughs> Got to get you in the shot, haven't I? My, my sort of... Oh, more cops. My drone sort of um, knowledge is yeah, let me put this there, down but not, not huge, so I'll, if, if, I'm not sure of anything. I can sort of a little... Do you, want me to, do you want me to give you the information and you can... But I can see you've got a toy, it's, it's going to be under your sort of 250 grams, that. Cause it's, it's under 250 sort of, grams. Sort of hobbyist drone. We have an app, uh, Drone Assist. Yeah, well, I, show use, you. I use Drone Assist. Right. Yeah. So where are we are now? And that's the thing, because as, as much as they put a sign up there saying there's no direct activity, it's not been geofenced, is it? And it's, it's, not it's, not, area. Um, it's not a restricted area. No. Uh, so it, it's yellow, same as the train tracks are. Yep. Which basically, as you probably know, means restricted. But you're not, flying, you're not flying over there, are you? Because you're not flying over the substation, are you? So my plan was to stay in the field originally. Okay. But they, when they took the lorry down, they said it may be unloaded right down the far end, which would mean technically hovering over their fence line. But which is when they had the issue. If you've had, has this got any sort of zoom capability on this drone? I can zoom in on it, yeah. Stick to the sort of the field line for it. I mean, you, I mean it's common sense that you know this is a substation. So you know, you know if your battery goes and crashes into this substation, it could cause some issues. For yeah, the, it, it won't. It won't. Um, when the battery is thirty percent, it comes home. Does it automatically come? In? Yeah. Because ours at thirty well, percent. It, it, it will tell me it's coming home unless I cancel it, right? Um, so down there, fence line there. And to the left, it's not in use, it's just concrete. That's where I'd need to be to watch it, essentially. I wouldn't be over the, I wouldn't be over the danger part anyway, got, in all honesty. You've got the sort of pylon lines and everything like that. Not, so you need, to, you need to, as a drone pilot, you need to know that you need to ensure a safe flight, don't you? Yeah, of course. So could you do, do you think you could safely ensure a safe flight? I've already been over, right? So I've looked down there. On the left, there's nothing there. And even the guy said, that's disused. It used to be a power station. It's no longer a power station. I like, I like to see good, good thing you're putting your operator ID on. <laughs> you don't normally see that. You have to do it, mate. See, yeah. You know, you've done your exam online. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't have to give it unless suspected of a crime. That's the rule. Uh, I can request it, but yeah. Yeah. It's the same as ID. Thank you. So I I'm, I'm not going to take it. No, that's just, right. I, I guess it's nice. It's nice to you see. You have to have it on. Have, you have to have it on the um, on the aircraft. The operator ID, not the flyer's ID, the operator's and, ID. And the, the amount of hobbyists you don't, but it's more, really? we're not here to sort of criminalise or anything, it's more of an education. Drones are more and more popular. Yeah, that's cool, drones you make a great video, informative and stuff. Drones, drones are um, a good tool. More yeah, yeah. More people use drones, drones are becoming more and more accessible. So it's more, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. It's more of an education thing. We're not here to, I'm not here to criminalise you, I'm not here to oh, that's right. criminalise hobbyists and drones. I was just quite conscious, it's quite big, I was going to get it made smaller. Hello. It's not moving today. Yeah, he said that, but I wasn't sure whether he was lying to me. No, no, he said just security <laughs> concerns, not not uh, no, security no. concerns. Aaron is out. Right, <laughs> he told me a different story. That's what he's told me. Right, oh, I'm yeah. gonna hang around a little bit. I've travelled a fairly long way. Where have you come from? Well, long enough. Long so, enough. I mean, you don't have to tell me. I'm just having a general, <laughs> general conversation with you. You know when a copper says to me that I they're never know. just having a conversation with you, I are take, they? I take it you're a little bit. You're you're. you're, you're not passively trusted. 
Police are always building an intel picture, even if they're not suspecting you of a crime. I will promise you, I'll forget about you tomorrow, so it really don't matter. I'm just being a decent person and talking to you. You've, been, you've been nice, mate, to but, be honest but, but with you. The, um, it's, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. To tell me anything. You don't have to tell me your name. You're not uh, I'm, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Wiltshire. That's all right. Are you? Station you based at Swindon? Yeah, we're based at HQ, mate. We, um, we're Ooh, firearms. Devices. Devices, yeah, so we cover the, we cover the whole of the I did a video at, the, at there. Yeah. Well, back back when I used to do police station videos. Yeah. Did one there. No, two nice coppers. I can't remember what they were called, but. What was the what was the police station? What the? See, I've I've heard I've heard like all the tin. Yeah. Right. Or YouTubers. So when I started my YouTube, yeah. I started to do those kind of sites originally. Yeah. That was one of my first places I went to there. Device. Yeah. Were you well received? Yeah. By a member of staff on there, no. The two armed guys that turned up, they were great. How long ago was that? Ooh, three months, four months, a while ago, yeah. But I've came off that topic now. Uh, you're always keeping sort of busy line of sight so you know where your drone is, you yeah. can see your drone, how far are you flying? Probably about 80 metres over there. How far Ish. You how, what's the maximum you can fly? 500, on that. The maximum you can fly on that, but what's the maximum you can fly? In terms of legally, yeah. it's 120, isn't it? 120 meters, yeah. yeah. So which is 400 feet? Right. Um, I've got meters on there, so it's 120 meters. 120 meters. Already. <laughs> it, 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 will, it will give you a warning. Yeah. If, you, if you will try to go higher, it will tell you. It's not a DJI, is it? Is yes. It DJI? So they, they come with their sort of, you can set it on your handset, can't you? But they come with their sort of ceiling max limits and stuff. It. So it will, it should prevent. I don't know if you can overwrite that. You might well be able to overwrite that. With that one, you can. If I update the software, I can't. Or, Again. Are you trying to memorise that number? It, it <laughs> I can watch you looking down. It, it won't mean anything to me, mate, <laughs> I promise you. Okay. Um, all, all, I can, all I can say is sort of just a, a little bit common sense approach to it. Um, like you said, it's not geofence, it's not a restricted area as, fine as, I, as far as I know. I can try and find out if it is a restricted area. Is your camera on? My camera's not on. Ooh. No. no, 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 no. I wasn't expecting yeah. it, was it? Because when you leant over, I looked at it, I was like, oh, he's trying to film the code number. This is. For it to be on, it needs to be recorded. Yeah. And then I would tell you that my camera's on. You meant to, he, he, he did. He did. Uh, in a Forgive place. me if I'm suspicious. No, I, I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, I've had all sorts happen, mate. Yeah. I, all I, sorts. I, I, I appreciate that. But as you can see, it's not recorded. No, I appreciate that. Whether you want it recorded or not, but we're not. We're nah, just, it's up to you. you. Me and you are just um, I think it would just be like this. It's that. It's the air here. Oh. It's the air space, as far as I know. I'll have to find out, because I honestly don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if it's not coming up on your DJI software as a restricted airway, it would be for... It won't let you fly there, will it, essentially? You, it, would, it should stop you. You shouldn't have the capabilities to overwrite no, police no, no, no. because they will send off your passwords to overwrite. You fly with your operator ID. Yeah. Um, the, the drone's grounded anyway on our... It's not that we've requested, you brought it down for us. Um, it's definitely under... Looks like it's under the... I brought it down because... The battery was going 30% yep. and I thought that not, they're not moving it yet, so I'll it's, bring it down. It's not necessarily an unsafe flight. You're not oh. flying it over, uh, uh, making it unsafe in terms of flying it over people because it's weight that you're not very, you're not restricted much anyway because you've got a small drone. That's if it. If you had a bigger drone, you'd have this sort of 50 meter That's it. limit above yeah. and around. Um, are you getting fed that into your ear or you, do you know that anyway? No, so I do drone as do well. You? So we, we've, on firearms, we've got a bit of capability of doing the drone flying. That's cool. So we need, obviously, a basic understanding. That's cool. Um, but I, It's I, more and more I, common, isn't it, now? It's a good tool. I told you. It's, it's amazing, good. to be honest. You know, That's fairly new for me. Yeah. And it is. It's you everything. You make some serious money in the private sector with something like that. You reckon? People want people, their houses. Yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah. Really can. Yeah. So as long as you've got, like, Doing stuff like that, it becomes a bit harder because you have to put business cases in. Um, but there's money to be made. If you yeah, want. yeah. All I can ask, I, again, you're not, you don't have to tell me your <laughs> name, but my name's Aaron. All I ask, Hi, Aaron. I'm DJ. DJ. All I ask, DJ, is just there has to be a common sense approach. Yeah. And I think you're a man with a bit of common sense who is going to be flying it into substation group. If you if you are, then this is now becoming an MC club. And I don't want to lose my drone, do I? You don't want to lose your right? drone. No. A lot of money to lose. And um, we're then talking about different offences other than drone offences because you're potentially um, harming the infrastructure. Yeah, but Ooh. if you're going to be stick sticking to the uh, field line and video videoing it from far, then... I can't say I won't go over, but if they're not doing that today, 
I won't be going back up at all. They're not worth the hassle. It's not worth the hassle anymore. Do you know how much they've paid to have that crane wait overnight? A lot. Right? A lot. To keep it for a whole other day would have to be a serious issue. Two sets. Um, but yeah, they've, they've told me they're not doing it. I mean, right. I don't know from Adam. They may go, no, I would tell them that and actually they, we'll move it in five minutes. They told me they've got to move some stuff, which may have just been fobbing me off for a security issue. But they're, they're, they're saying they're not looking to move it. Right. So, that's it. And it gets dark soon. Yeah. And my video won't happen when it's dark. To be fair, when it gets dark, they won't be moving it anyway. So I'm going to wait a little bit. If they don't move it before it gets dark, I'll go. Cool. Pretty cool. much. We'll just film. Uh, yeah, as far as I, as far as my sort of limited knowledge, um, I've, I've told them pretty much what you've just said, pretty much. So it's if they don't want this to happen, it's probably the responsibility of National Grid to the offender. Civil Aviation Authority need to have it put in, and isn't it? Pretty much. And then that should stop you, DJI. I've yes. Hit, I've hit it before where I've gone onto like um, Ministry Aerospaces. Have you? And just hit the wall and it just stops. Well, you got a drone then? Uh, not uh, work the street, right? Which is a DJI. Product. Oh, do you do you work the drone then as part of your? As part of some of our. That's cool. Yeah. So we use it for like missing people. We use it for sort of firearms deployments. Um, do you ever use it for like if there's a crime scene and you want to capture it rather than a helicopter? Yeah. Yeah. So we use that a lot now. So. My colleague there is traffic officer, but we use it a lot more in the collision investigation world now. So okay. video, video in um, RTCs and serious injuries and stuff like that. So we, we, we use it for that because it's good evidence for it. it. You can see a whole video, and it means that juries or whatever or investigators don't need to come to see because they've got this video. Capture everything. Because you've seen how clear it is. It's really good, isn't it? Uh, DJ, I think I'm going to probably go. Sam? I think my colleagues probably going to go. Uh, this is a nature sort of reserve, sort of public of access, so I can't tell you to go. <laughs> I'm just asking for a bit of a mistake, okay? No worries. Right. When I did go up, I was way over to the left, which is, there's nothing there. You know, I, I could have gone over there, but there's no need to, and that's a very, very powerful, dangerous place. And if the yeah. drone did fall, yeah. it's a problem. Is the magnetic field not affecting that at all? No. Not at all? No. Do you compass check when you... But I stayed high. When you rotate for calibration settings, do you compass check anyway? Do, does that drone make you have to uh, spin round and then invert it and spin round again? Only because, once, not every time. Yeah. I've had it before where it said interference, but it wasn't a power station. It was, um, I forget what it was now. Oh, the railway, um, oh, railway lines. overhead lines. You get it overhead lines, so I can, I can normally get it to work overhead lines. Right. So position yourself elsewhere. But with this, I was extra high just to avoid that. Uh, and that would be my, again, just safe, safety point of view. Uh, that would be sort of my my advice. Don't position yourself over those railway lines because if that drone falls down, you ain't gonna do it yourself. Did you? It was nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, mate. I like your GoPro. Thanks, mate. GoPro? Oh, it is GoPro. It is a GoPro, yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been, a, you've been allowed to go in. They're allowing us to go in. You're allowing you to go in. <laughs> so don't follow us. Yeah, don't follow us. Stay there. Because <laughs> that point, the public doesn't have access to it. Oh, really? <laughs> you, go, you take care. Take care, guys. I like your car. Are they new? Uh, this one, a couple of years old. They're not brilliant. Oh, right. Not, not brilliant. brilliant. I heard these, um, they go into like safety braking too early and you can't override it. You know, you know where I learned that from? Police officer? Volvo. Volvo, Volvo, Volvo. I did a video on Volvo. But they're good for me because I'm a taller gentleman. Oh, right. Okay. Take care. Cheers, guys. Well, that's it. Police turning around. And we've got a lorry coming in. Looks like we're not going to be seeing this unloaded today, but I think we've had a good enough interaction here to make a decent video. I wonder what all this is for. Got some massive hydraulics on this lorry. Look at them. I wonder what the uh, capability is of those hydraulics.
Oh, the gate's closing and he's trying to go in. <laughs> Yeah, look at those hydraulics, guys. Massive. I'm thinking they may well be lifting it up with those off the trailer and then shunt the other trailer they've got ready underneath, transport it to where they're going to do it, and then use the crane to unload it. And I think that's what they're going to do. So I'm going to go and ask him if, if that's the case. Indeed, they look heavy as well, don't they? Yeah, mate. Those hydraulics on there, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what lifts it up and drops it down when it gets away from That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> See you, mate. Bye. So I'm thinking they're going to use the hydraulics to lift it up, get that trailer out, yes, put the other little trailer out. in. Yeah, then it goes down on skids. And then... And then they drop it down bit by bit. Oh, I thought you were maybe going to put it on your other other little trailer. Yeah, I've got the little trailer to, to take it around the way it's going. To go and then crane it off with a crane? Yeah. Or... No, no. Yeah. Oh, or yeah. will it... Yeah. Right. Slide over. Then they're going to turn it round. Okay. Um, quite interesting that bit, right? Are you not doing it today? No, no, there uh, won't be much else happening today. Okay. All sorted, mate? All sorted? Home point updated. There we go. See the crane now? is up and running. <laughs> yeah, they're doing something, aren't they? What are they doing? They're taking the hydraulics off, ready for lifting the 130 tonner off. Is it going ahead? Is it going ahead? What? Oh, you're not going in there? No, I'm not going in there. I'm looking at somewhere else. Oh, sorry. Oh, you got a drone? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were taking photos. No, I'm doing a drone shot. Oh. Uh, by the crane. Oh, yeah. Somebody walking past, but uh, nothing to do with the grid station, apparently. Let's have a little look over here then. Let's see what you guys are doing. I think they're unloading the hydraulic system. If there was another lorry with hydraulics on, where's that gone? Yeah, there it is, look. Look at that. So maybe they're not, not doing it today. Maybe they're just uh, lifting everything up to prepare for tomorrow. I think we've seen the main feature today. Uh, tomorrow we're away, so it's impossible tomorrow to film. <laughs> Let's get a close up while we're here. Why not, yeah? This is what drones are made for. Seeing what you can't see from outside. Look at that. Very, very cool. So the plan, apparently, is to use the hydraulics there to lift it up off that trailer. Trailer will drive forward or back. And then they're going to put the smaller trailer, that one there, or more than likely that one there, underneath and I think on the front of it that's like a little uh, power car maybe that will move it into position for exactly where it's going and then I think the crane might be used for that but I'm thinking about it the crane 
may well only be here to lift these things off the lorries and get into place because why can't they use the hydraulic system to get it off that trolley as well it seems like a safer option to me to use the hydraulic system rather than that crane for 130 ton I mean it may have a weight limit on it can't see but I can't see that doing 130 ton on its own nah I don't buy it so we're going to wrap this one up here I think not much to see now really they're not going to be doing the main lifting today and when they do it'll be a slow process anyway so I think we've, we've got all we can today yeah Hundred and thirty ton there. Mammoth. Travelled over from Bristol docks. Presumably came off a boat. Yeah, but we're done here. Um, but today's video wasn't uh, expected to go in the way of police turning up. In fact, if I wanted a video of police turning up, this, this, this is prime. Like, we've had armed cops turn up, we've had everything. It was pretty good for terms of police video. Uh, but that wasn't the intention and it wasn't expected today. I thought it was going to be just watching something really interesting happen. And I thought the National Grid probably would ask me about the drone. But it would just be one of those things where they maybe say you're not allowed. Which is what they did, to be fair. But then that's it, you know. So, quite surprised when we had the armed cops turn up there. And uh, it was very strange because he kept looking down at the uh, flyer ID stuck to the drone. And then it, I looked at his camera and his camera was pointing straight down diagonally. But he did, he did say it wasn't on and he did show me it wasn't on. But I don't know if we trust that, I don't know. <laughs> you never trust a copper, right? Especially, I didn't trust him at all. He didn't come across the type that you could uh, get into a friendly chat with and forget who you're talking to so there we go if you enjoyed the video guys thumbs up like it subscribe to the channel <laughs>